Oh God! And then finally, this. So this is um, this is something that happened over my break because while I was on break, I was still checking on the forum to make sure everything was fine. And one of the things that was happening that um, that I I uh, decided to address was that King Cobra was being evicted from his apartment. If you don't know, King Cobra is living with this awful, awful woman called N A L, which I think stands for Naked All. Naked and loving, naked and it's naked and something, I think. Um, but everyone just calls her n now. Uh, she's really ugly inside and out. Um, she's very mean to Cobes. Uh, people can't wait for her to get the fuck out. She's basically a, a life ruining kind of woman. And there is some debate over the A log community if. Um, he was evicted from his apartment because of her and her noise level. Like, a, she's a BPD screaming psychopath, um, like, histrionic freak. And it remains, it, it's unknown if the eviction was due to her or due to A-logs from the subreddit, the King Cobra subreddit, which, by the way, over the hiatus was also banned. Um, I'm not sure why they were really crazy. They really hate Cobra and call him like a pedophile for no reason And they hate the forum because we don't try to kill him or something uh, But they got banned um, Anyways, so he was getting evicted and I was kind of pissed off that the reddit people um, Might have been involved. So I was genuinely pitching the idea that maybe I should just buy a house in Casper, Wyoming and rent it to him because he has um, HUD. He has free money from the government, from the housing authority. So he has enough money to pay a mortgage, basically. I just need somebody to like, go over there and check on it and make sure the house is not in disrepair. And um, I even reached out to his father, Clint, and I, and I offered this. And this is, by the way, I very deliberately slotted this in after the Chris stuff so everyone can yell at me in chat. <laughs> um, I don't think Clint responded because I, 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 Clint is apparently very, very progressive. He's like super gay liberal type in, in Wyoming. Um, so it's unlikely that he will accept any and for anything from Kiwi Farms adjacent anything at all ever. Um, but it wasn't just a, it wasn't a completely selfless offer because having a home in Wyoming um, would solve a lot of problems for me like having a having a lived-in space that was not a pure economic deficit on me um that someone lived in that was taken care of uh would would help a lot with my situation and trying to trying to get everything squared away coming back into the u.s i I don't know specifically what his financial situation is. I think people were estimating that he was making probably like six hundred dollars a month from um from his his he has social security income, which is not to be confused with SSDI. Uh, I think that the, there was some clarification that his SSDI was um, people say that he has that because he's obviously disabled, but SSDI pays more, whereas he doesn't really get too much money from the government. Um, because he's only on SSI. I don't know what is what is HSA or if he has HUD payments or whatever, but I'm I'm sure he could get it if he applied for it. Um, however, one of the interesting things is that that I learned, and I'll just pass this nugget of wisdom along to you. I asked, you know, if Cobes, let's just say not just Cobes, but anybody, you have a guy, and he has a thousand dollars a month in income for housing. And so he can spend that on rental income, right? Well, generally speaking, when you have rental money, you could buy a house. Like the only the only valley to cross in buying a house is that, first of all, you have to recognize that this is now your house. You have to take care of it. Nobody comes along and fixes it for you. Um, and you also have to have enough money for a down payment. But theoretically, oh, sorry, the hamster has stuck along, along for way too long. He always does that. He always sneaks in way longer than he has to. But theoretically, budgetarily speaking, someone with income um, can buy a house, especially if you could get like a co-signer. So I always, I, I just wondered aloud in the thread, why doesn't Clint or um, Cobes buy his own house that he can't get evicted from? And lo and behold, the money that he gets is diminished based on his wealth. 
So if you are on this type of income and you buy a home and you start putting equity into your home, that equity is used against you in deciding how much money that you get. So it's not possible to take your money and buy a house with it and pay it off, but it is possible to get money to pay, to pay for rent and never own anything. So quite literally for the poorest people in the country, the government doesn't want you to own anything. The government incentivizes you as hard as possible to own nothing. Don't own a house or we'll start reducing your payments. Don't, um, don't have, don't be middle class because then you can't get, um, on, uh, Medicare or Medicaid, whichever one is for poor people. If you, if you have too much money, if you're, uh, over like 200% of the poverty line in that state, you don't get poor people free health care that always pays out and you get the same coverage as everybody else. If you have a, if you take your housing money and you buy a house with it, we'll take away your housing money. But if you rent and never own a house, then you'll keep getting your money forever. It's like everything that the government does is designed in such a way to make sure that you never own anything ever. And it's, it was really crazy to me because I didn't know that until I started thinking about it in Cope's thread. And people uh, like elucidated me that that's how it works. It's, it's set up in such a way to disincentivize you from investing into your own life. Like, wow, wonderful. Um, but I can, I, he can pay me to get a house apparently if I, if I had worked that out with him, just crazy. Uh, this is a video I have not watched before, but apparently it's funny. Let's take a look. This is uh, NAL by the way. No, it's not going to be fine. No, it's not. I've only been begging for attention for the past, like, two days. I need to be told like a toddler, no, you don't get attention day. You can get attention on this day and this day and this day, not these days. I need to be talked to like a little child. Otherwise, I get mentally sick to my stomach and I don't fucking eat. I need to know where I stand in people's lives because people throw me the fuck away like a used fucking tampon. I, I need to know where I stand in people's lives, not fucking message me three days later. I, I don't need that in my life. I don't. So if you want to be free, you, you can be free. I'm not afraid to let you loose. Like you've already had the taste you, you probably deserve somebody way more better than me anyway, so she's probably out there. So I hope you get it. I hope you get what you deserve in your life. Because it's obviously not me, so I hope you get what you deserve. I hope you get what you deserve, because it's not me, obviously. I've been begging for your fucking attention. <laughs> I haven't fucking got You can break up with me. It's fine. It ain't gonna hurt my feeling. It, I, I can I can give your ring back too. It's not gonna hurt me. You can give it to somebody more deserving because I obviously don't deserve it. So I, I hope you got somebody else in line for that because I, I can give it back to you. I, I can give it back to you because obviously I, I don't deserve it. That's uh, Cobes, by the way, trying to get a hold of her because she's like threatening to break up with him. And he's like blowing up her phone. And instead of just muting it, because you know, that would indicate that you don't want to talk to him, she's like proud that, that he's like panicking and blowing up her phone. So she's just letting that play out. I don't know who's calling me, but I can't read that. So, you can call whatever girlfriend you got on deck and next in line because it's not me, obviously. So. <laughs> 
You know, when you have um, multiple sound effects going on at the same time, in like a video game or something, it's called a soundscape. And I think that the word soundscape is the best word to apply here. You are not just hearing noises. You are ruminating in a collective sound experience that can only be described as a proper soundscape, chat. The reason why it's so loud is that it's the same phone that she's recording with, I'm pretty sure. So like it's it's you're hearing the actual device that's recording buzz and bring as well. There's no point pussing out now, Chad. Almost and done. Seen, We're almost out of here. So, like, I will literally mail your ring back to you, and you can give it to whoever, or you can smelt it. it it's fine. It's literally so fun. You can melt it, or you I don't think one and a half speed would help. It's fine. Oh, my phone was ringing. <laughs> I guess even she has her limits. You know what? I just remembered something. I think I bookmarked it. Give me a second. It's up here somewhere. It's another Cobes thing. It's a. I, I've also not watched this, but someone. It's apparently about me. Uh, let's see. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm looking through my bookmark trying to find it. Look at that. That's what she, that's what she is. We need we gotta save Josh. Josh, we gotta save Josh from the nightmare that he's currently living in. From this fucking, bo I think they call her the Bog Witch. That's pretty. That's pretty close. It's pretty. She's pretty bog, bogly. Um. Oh, dude, I forgot about the... Man, I can't... There's um a video. Oh, it's on the front page still. I can still play it. Okay, let's hope this works. Try to play this. And then I have another video I think that I want to play. Evicted again, thanks to that witch. I never found Puff, and now I never will. 
I'm so sorry, Scotty. I failed again. It doesn't matter what Dr. Scott, because he, he's my friend either or, you know? I might not have been here for the beginning, but I'm sure as hell we'll be here for the end. Each time I get up, I find myself even lower than where I began. My dad's weeping face is at the bottom of every bottle. My life is in the negative. You don't have to help me, but any direction would be greatly appreciated. Very sad, chap. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.